So. Okay. Okay. Again, <laughs> Again, I kind of feel like the question would be, like where did you guys get each other? Kama milipatana and you guys are struggling, mvumiliane. But for example, and again, I'm not comparing. Me, I found my man in Dubai. So if I met him, maybe struggling somewhere, and me too, I was struggling. Because when I was still struggling, I was dating other strugglers as well. So that one, we will struggle, Mpaka. But if I find this, I'm a, let's say now we are in Baisimu, and then I meet like the CEO of, of Baisimu. Kempinski, I'm a Baisimu, and then I'm going to have Umilia. No, that one, it's, I feel like it's a little bit unfair. Because I love that Michelle because she has a certain type of life, but I don't know really. I feel like, you and my name Judy. And, and again, life, Uneza Vumilia Mtu, and then they turn out to be the best people. I'm on Vumilia, and then he gets their type. You know, like an answer, like, eh, now, Sasa, are you, are you sure? A Bambi Tena, yes. Yeah. What online who are going to give one up for a year? You know, the way you flaunt your family, your husband, Magari, Kamu, like, of course, no one is like, hey, who you put at your friend? What do you have to say? Ah, imagine. <laughs> Such is life, kwa sababu, um, I know, I'm, I'm just hoping for the best as well. I hope that everything works out. And if it doesn't, silly life. Mm -hmm. Because there are also other celebrities, when you my show, I end up the way they, they planned. And the, at the end of the day, I'm not only a celebrity, I'm a public figure, I'm also a human being. We, kosana, I'm a, things can go the other way. So if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But if it works out, me, I'm gonna step on their necks. <laughs> Still at Kempiski and we have our beautiful girl, Sean Arua, beautiful mom. She's <laughs> a mom right now, but hey, yeah. Maglo, mama, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. You good? Yeah. Good to see you again. Nice to see you again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are here because of uh, Baisimu. Yeah. Kidogo, uh, why you here and also, maybe what do you love about them? I'm here because I've always worked with Baisimu. Yeah. yeah, I was among the first brands to work with them. Yeah. And yeah, and I support them so much. Mm -hmm. And also, my very first iPhone, I guess, I bought from um, their sister company. Okay. Yeah, so it's a brand that I really trust. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tonight, I know a lot of people will be asking, maybe Sean, Mbonatena uka kuja peke yako? Yeah, because you know, Wait, welcome to Kani Kujina Nani. Let's let's start from nah, there. Nah, nah, okay, nah. Oga. Oh. Yeah, you know, Oga is not a social media person and he's not also a content creator. Mm -hmm. So um, I was telling my sister Trudy Jana, yeah. he he married Sharon, not necessarily Sean Arwa. So at times I can't go everywhere with him and he's in the UK right now and I'm in Kenya. So yeah. No, you know, I have um, something called a resident permit. So it's valid for five years, so I can stay in the UK. I can stay in Kenya, because I'm in Kenya, so I can always come back. I can always go in the UK, and also because I love traveling a lot. I can travel the rest of the world. Because life is so short, I can't just stay in the UK. And it's very depressing. Anybody who's been there will tell you. It's depressing, it's lonely, you don't see family, sana. So if you've been um, blessed and you have the little money you can travel, then why not? Yeah. And I asked you this question yesterday, I think I'll repeat it again. How is it uh, marrying a foreigner? And uh, maybe tell us well, I'm going to feel you're happy married and uh, well, what you well. How is it? Marrying a foreigner is really hard. However, pia ni poa kwa sababu sangine neza msengenyata na kijaluo to my sisters and he won't get it. Yeah, pia ni sengenya, I mean, yeah. So, it's, no, I'm just kidding, but it's, 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 it's fun. Mm -hmm. It's strange, it's hard, and it's easy. It's just like any other marriage. Yeah. You mentioned uh, earlier that uh, he married Sharon and not the Shonara we see online. Yeah. Has it at any point maybe uh, brought some, in a way, not necessarily misunderstanding, but Ile Kidogo, there's some differences between the two of you? Yeah, because he didn't even know I was a content creator uh, when I met him. 
and he 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 one time I made a comment about Nigerian men yeah. and then it went viral and then it was posted in a um, in a Nigerian gossip page. Mm -hmm. So that's how he was like his, his relative was like, see this is your wife. <laughs> then I'm like, you know what? Yeah, that's the other side of me. So but it's something we talked about because at some point he could not understand the type of content I do and all that. But marriage is about sitting down, talking, understanding, compromising, and yeah. So here we are. Uh -huh. I actually, I've always been a lover of Kenya. I mean, I love Kenya so, so much. But when it comes to the UK, I also love the privacy you get. Also, there's better opportunities as a content creator. There's better payment. But um, I kind of felt like it's almost like me starting from scratch. And I had to even learn the way they speak and all that. And it's, it was just a little weird. So I'm still working. So I prefer Kenya for now. Uh -huh. So talking of your content that you do, yeah. uh, do you just wake up and do that content? Let me record this. Because every time you do a content, <laughs> Imagine me, I'm a believer of so at times I might even go through the comment section and I see something that people are saying and I'll just pick it. Like I can even hear somebody say, we are not well, like it's and then I'm like, yeah, that's, that's actually funny. So yeah, stuff like that. So either something I've seen going on somewhere, I'm just something I've thought about randomly and then yeah, I just press record and we go. And you are in marriage, and uh, we understand marriage is a challenges. And we have uh, couples out there that are young, they don't know how to handle yeah. challenges in marriage. Maybe what would you tell them? The only thing I'll say, I'm not a marriage expert, so I cannot stand here and give people advice. What might be working for me might not work for them. But for me, uh, me and my husband have always been the type of people who talk things out. You know, when things are not working, I, I, I tell him, because me, I'm very vocal. Like, you see, they can see me online. I'm just vocal like that. So I'll tell him, you know what, I don't like this. And then he's a very reserved person. So we, we have like our back and forth, just like any other, any other marriage, but eventually we work things out. So I don't think there's anything that is easy anyway. I wouldn't tell them, stay the, 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 the sad thing with online, what we put out there might not really be what's going to ground. No, no. So you, you might see a couple and they're like, oh, any couple goals. And the whole time, when you're the biggest cheater, you know, the whole time when you wanna... <laughs> yeah, so. Okay. <laughs> Again, I kind of feel like the question would be, like, where did you guys get each other? Come on, Milipatan, when you guys are struggling, mvumiliane. But for example, and again, I'm not comparing. Me, I found my man in Dubai. So if I met him, maybe struggling somewhere, and me too, I was struggling. Because when I was still struggling, I was dating other strugglers as well. So that one, we will struggle, Mpaka. But if I find this, I'm a, let's say now we are in Baisimu, and then I meet like the CEO of, of Baisimu. Kempinski, I'm a Baisimu, and then I'm going to have Umilia. No, that one, it's, I feel like it's a little bit unfair. Because I love that Michelle because she has a certain type of life, but I don't know really. I feel like, you and my name Judy. And, and again, life, and then they turn out to be the best people. I'm on and then he gets their type. You know, like an answer, like, eh, now, nah, Sasa, are you, you sure? A bambi tenor, yes. What do online who are going to give one up right here? You know, the way you've launched your family, your husband, my guy, like, you know, of course, not only some other day, who you put at your hand. What do you have to say? Ah, imagine. <laughs> That is life, Kwasa Babu. Um, I know, I'm, I'm just hoping for the best as well. I hope that everything works out. And if it doesn't, it's in life. Mm -hmm. Because there are also other celebrities when you my show, I end up the way they, they planned. And the, at the end of the day, I'm not only a celebrity, I'm a public figure, I'm also a human being. We, I'm a, things can go the other way. So if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But if it works out, me, I'm gonna step on their necks. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, this is something that I was told by Elsa Majimbo, and I say it all the time. When you want to attract like international brands, you've got to start packaging yourself as an international brand yourself. And you have to believe in yourself. So many times I will even send them emails, so many times I will even send them DMs hoping that they, they pick me. Mm -hmm. And I will go on their pages, check how other, other creatives are doing their things, and then I'll just try and copy, and then you just leave the rest to God. Yeah, we are, we are good friends. Yeah. Thank you, Sean. Welcome. Yes, 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 y